Let's get some more serious matters. Yes. Probably the biggest NBA story of the day. Yes. Yes. Uh, the Four Letter Network has dropped a story, an anticipated story. We knew the story was coming because Robert Sarver got ahead of it. Phoenix Suns Governor Robert Sarver got ahead of it with uh, statements denying the accusations that would be forthcoming in the story that came out today from Baxter Holmes, uh, alleging uh, use of racial slurs and misogyny uh, and a toxic and sometimes hostile workplace that Robert Sarver has overseen over the course of his 17-year tenure owning the Phoenix Suns. Baxter Holmes spoke with 70 current and former members of the Suns organization. Mm -hmm. uh, some told him that he has used racially insensitive language repeatedly in the office. Employees recounted conduct that they felt was inappropriate and misogynistic, including Sarver once passing around a picture of his wife in a bikini to employees and speaking about times his wife performed oral sex on him. Some said the longtime owner fostered an environment in which employees felt they were his property, even once asking mm. one woman whether he'd owned her to determine whether she worked for the Suns. Uh, their are allegations you one of that mine. he has used the... Are, he, that's his that line. He, are you one of, that are you one of the, Are you one of mine? Right. That he's used the N-word yeah. um, uh, repeatedly, uh, casually, and one time where when it came to a coach saying that these N words need an N word when it comes when it came yeah. to who he wanted as a head coach. Uh, admittedly, Michael, I have not read the article in full. I've read summaries of it. I've read I have. wrap ups, roundups. I know you've read it in full. Um, this yeah. sounds like somebody who this might be a Donald Sterling situation where he might lose his team. It might be a Mark Cuban situation. But the thing about Mark Cuban is, is he could claim ignorance. He could claim he could disassociate yeah. himself, even though he was in charge of the Mavericks toxic work environment. He could say, hey, I had the wrong people in charge. He can get on television and cry and say, I'm, I'm cleaning house and he could hire a black woman to fix his mess, which is what he did. Uh, and she's incredible. She was incredibly qualified. and She's come in and done a phenomenal job. Um, Sarver, this, the, the allegations are at Robert Sarver, so it feels more like a Donald Sterling situation. What's your read on this article? It's not it's not going to be Donald Sterling because uh, Donald Sterling was such a dramatic example and it could have it Sterling could have happened 20 years 30 years before it actually did. You know, if you if you had gone to Los Angeles and just gone to court and read the transcripts, some of the things uh, about Sterling were uh, were actually in the transcript. Some of the things that he said were in the transcript. You could make the you could make a very uh, quick leap from this to that just by looking at what was on the record that was a sworn testimony. So that's the irony of Sterling that it was already there. But what got him was a private conversation uh, by right. his girlfriend a recorded conversation. So it's not going to be that because they just had him. They had him. Uh, so this is red handed. This is recorded. Moved right. These are more allegations that he, okay, but I think yeah. this is what's going to happen. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Then I'll tell you what I think of the story. I think Adam Silver will be forced to do what the National Hockey League did uh, with the situation with Cal Beach. You get a, a law firm, you launch an investigation, three or four months, you go yep. in there, it is an NBA-backed yeah. investigation, and then you find it out. Because what's happening right now, Mike, you've got Baxter Holmes, excellent reporter, uh, former Boston Globe reporter, by the way, shout out Baxter. So Baxter Holmes, excellent reporter, he's got his story. Then Robert right. Sarver has his story, and he has asked people, this is one of my least favorite things about it. Uh, uh -huh. uh, he has asked people to speak on his behalf. In other words, Baxter Holmes says, hey, I got a lot of people saying you're a racist or you're a misogynist. Well, hey, let me get you some people who will tell you different. Some of them happen to be women. Some of them happen yeah. to be black. And then that's my defense. So you can go back. You can play that game all day. He said, he said, he said, she said, he said, Adam Silver is going to have to come in as a commissioner of the league and figure out what's going on in Phoenix because it's not so good. I you put your let me, hand let up. Me you get, to say something just now. a couple of footnotes there. Just, just to get, I just want to be fair here. And, and Cynthia Marshall, by the way, was who I was referring to who, uh, Mark Cuban hired as a CEO to clean up his organization. Um, so uh, one current member of the Suns business operations said Adam Silver would be appalled if the league were to investigate the Suns in the workings. Now, Michelle Roberts says that the Players Association hasn't heard anything about misconduct by Sarver or the Suns. And interestingly enough, you know, President Chris Paul 
is obviously with the Sun. So you think that they would know. And then Sarver issued a statement. I won't read it in full because I want to get back to you. Uh, or maybe I can quickly. But Sarver said that he would welcome, entirely welcome, an impartial NBA investigation. He continues to be shocked by the false reporting from Baxter Holmes. While there is so much that is inaccurate and misleading in this story that I hardly know where to begin, let me be clear, the N-word is not part of my vocabulary. I've never called anyone or any group of people the N-word or referred to anyone or any group of people by that word, either verbally or in writing. I don't use that word. It is abhorrent and ugly and denigrating and against everything I believe in. The way I lead my personal and professional life makes that clear. Instead of reporting the truth, Holmes' story is based on misrepresentations from former Suns coach Earl Watson and another unnamed sources. Uh, Mr. Watson created an unprofessional and toxic atmosphere in our organization. He's clearly not a credible source. Despite hearing from witness after witness that disputed Mr. Watson's stories, Mr. Holmes completely disregarded the truth here. Now we are in a position of trying to disprove things that did not happen. At this point, I would entirely welcome an impartial NBA investigation, which Bring may prove our only outlet for clearing my name and the reputation of an organization of which I'm so very proud. And the reason I felt the need to read that journalistically if you're going to put out the allegations, you got to put out the denial. So, Michael, you were saying, continue, please. Yeah, sure, sure. I, I would say, look, that, that's not, and I think that's, uh, I think that's where this thing is headed. Otherwise, you'll never really know. Although, you kind of know. I, I'm sorry, if, if I'm just based on what I've read and just uh, using common sense, uh, using my brain, uh, I think it is more. It, there, there is, there's more truth on Baxter Holmes' side than there is on Robert Sarver's side. I'll, I'll give you an example. Okay, so in that one summary that you read, Mike, you said that he was passing around a picture of his wife in a bikini mm -hmm. and making uh, inappropriate comments. You know what his response to that was? His response was, see, this is how things get twisted. We had an opportunity to have some son's, you know, loungewear, like swimwear in our, in our pro shop. And I had my wife try it on and I wanted people to see how it looked with my wife wearing a bikini like that. that dude, that don't even make no right. sense. Right. That, like, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so that, so that's, so that's what happened. It, it, there was no inappropriate comment made. You just happened to do that. And Earl Watson, you can't say he's not a credible source. You can say now he is a, he's got his biases just like Robert Sarver has his biases. Mm -hmm. Robert Sarver's bias is they talking about your organization. And so Earl Earl Watson's bias is hey, hey, it didn't work out well for him there. Mm -hmm. So both Robert Sarver is credible. Earl Watson is credible. Now we just take their comments and we have to judge what seems likely or not what's probable or not. So I think well, that's the what the commissioner has to look at. The but I, yeah, the investigation but, has to do that. Yep. Go ahead. But, the, but this is what the, one thing I, I really want to get this out. Okay. I feel like we got to stop doing this. We have to stop doing this in professional sports. We have to stop doing this in society. And I'm going to call some guys out uh, who were who were quoted in the story. Steve Kerr did it. Lon Babby did it. And I'm not sure if J it was J no no it wasn't James Jones. It was their uh, Ooh, let me guess. Uh, let me guess. I haven't seen it. What are you vouching for his character saying what he would never do? Almost. Yeah, so oh, that's 75% of it. All, I, I've never seen it. I've never seen it in all Thank my you. time around. About it. Thank yeah. you. Stop yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, I'm yeah. so tired. I'm so tired of men, especially men, men mm -hmm. saying he's not a misogynist. How the hell do you know how a woman would perceive right. the actions of a man? I, honestly, of a man I think women who is, do it. I think women yeah, how the hell do you know that? I think women doing it is worse. I think women yeah. caping up for men saying, yeah, he's hey, never listen. been like that around me. It's like you ought to know better. So I, I hear you, but yeah. to me, it's worse when women do it. At least you can blame, you know, dumbass men Stop for doing, doing that. that. I, I, he's I think not I a misogynist. Gone a little too far. He's not a racist. He's not right. a racist. Oh, we talk, we, I can't oh, we say about the racist rescue. I can't say crew. he. We talked about that. I can't say he is. I can't <laughs> yeah. say that he is. Yeah. Just as I can't say that he's not. Hundred percent. What do you? I, I think mean, I might have. Like, I think I might so have got that's baked in. There. I got ahead of myself on the uh, on the taking of the team part. I, I, maybe I carried away there because you're right. It's not it's not apples to oranges with Donald Sterling because he's not. There's no cold hard evidence. He's not on tape. Okay, the way he, she, he was with C. Vivian. No, what was what was the woman's name? I almost said C. Vivian Stringer. That's not what's what's the woman's name? You remember? 
the woman that the, 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 the mistress that caught him on tape. Anyway, oh, I don't I, I don't remember Sterling's, I Sterling's girlfriend. I no, I don't remember. Yeah, anyway. I remember what she looks like, but I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, right. The bottom line is this, whether it's Daniel Snyder, whether it's Robert Sarver, if you dig deep enough, they all got some form of skeletons in their closet. They got a lot. There's a lot of stories of toxic workplace environments that just haven't seen a light yet. And it would behoove all of them talking about people who own teams, whether you've seen it or participated in it to do a clean sweep of your organization and make sure that there ain't nothing nobody could uncover because you you and your organization could be next. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.